Hey drivers, this is Andrew at Third Coast RC and um, we're expanding our product line over the next few weeks and into the start of 2022 and um, one of the first new items we're going to get is uh, we've become a dealer for HPI so we've got one of their kind of new trucks here this is from their Maverick lineup if you don't know, the Maverick lineup is made by HPI um, it even has HPI racing stickers on the vehicle um, but it is their slightly more affordable line yeah but I tell you what, this truck that we're going to look at, the Maverick Quantum R, there is nothing inexpensive um, about the design and the build of this truck. So this is a 8th scale um, street race truck, kind of similar in design to the Armour Infraction, to be honest. It's about the same size as an Armour Infraction. Um, it comes in three different colours. It comes in this kind of chaos red gray red and blue and white color scheme it also comes in another color scheme that is not shown on the box here but it's very similar to this uh, just slightly different with more gray and then it comes in a single like slate gray like like quite a light colored gray uh, just just a solid color um, so you've got three three really cool color schemes there this is a truck that um, I mean it just looks awesome, it's got the aggressive wide fender wells here, it's got nice wheels and tyres on it, really match good, it's got mirrors on the body, you get an optional supercharger to go on top, or there's a place here where you can put twin turbos, you can fasten them on here, and then there's an intercooler that fastens on the front as well, ancillary parts for the body, the, the turbo parts are in the box, um, out of the box I think it comes with a supercharger on it. The body has a uh, roll cage um, on the rear to help protect it here a bit and it has a nice uh, rear wing here um, again it's got diffuser like a, a diffuser on the back here and it's got this awesome really strong tough front bumper here uh, which you know this is a street truck so it's gonna it's gonna you know it's gonna it's gonna scrape on a few things it's kind of cool that behind the fuser here as well you have this little gap, they made that as a handle so you can just pick it up and uh, carry it. We don't have the body clips on this car right now, so because um, we're going to look underneath it. This truck packs a lot of performance. It runs on 4S, you can run it on 2 2S or 1 4S. You can run it on 3S as well if you don't want it to be as crazy fast. But it's designed to run on 4S. And on 4S we gunned it down the parking lot. It does 55 miles an hour, which honestly, I get people coming to our shop all the time. I want to go 60, 70, 80 miles an hour. You get a car that does 80 miles an hour, it's cool, it's going to cost you best part of a thousand dollars. And you hit something, hit a bump, anything at 80 miles an hour, you're probably going to seriously damage that car. I see that all the time. I think this is the sweet spot for this kind of uh, kind of vehicle. It's not going to cost you 800 dollars. This truck, we sell them out of our store here for 420 so this is not a super expensive truck 420 is still a lot of money but it's uh, it's a lot less than the uh, 60 mile an hour armor cars that are 700 dollars plus you gotta buy all the batteries for them so let's take a look under heat and heat here it comes with flux power the flux power system with a 2250 kV motor um, it comes with a speed controller. I'm going to check out the amperage in just a second and let you know, but it's free. Let me see if it says on the box. It should have looked already. Blake, could you have a look and see what the amperage is on the speed controller, please? Well, it's, it's plenty high enough amps. Um, the truck runs good. It comes with aluminum shocks, the threaded shock bodies for adjusting your suspension. The front and rear arms, everything's symmetrical on this truck. It's made for a low parts count. Um, so if you break an upper front arm or a lower front arm, they always come in pairs. But then, you know, they'll fit on any of the, uh, uh, of the four, four uh, wheels of this, uh, of this car. It's got a sponge bumper on the front here. It comes with a, uh, with a nice uh, high quality uh, servo and um, you know, this, it, honestly to me this looks like a Hobbywing ESC that's just been rebadged ma Maverick. 
underneath it is a tough like um, tough chassis with uh, like a tub style chassis so it's got it's got a tremendous amount of rigidity to it which is what you want for a street truck this thing handles really really well the tires on it do not balloon um, they provide more than adequate grip and they come with this black and uh, with the gold um, kind of end to the uh, to the axle here which uh, which you screw the black wheel hex wheel nut onto uh, so inside it's uh, it's yeah. it's re it's real nice let's just check out the box so it comes with a 120 amp ESC it says so on here 120 amp ESC and a 2250 it does have a center differential um, so it's four wheel drive but uh, the drive can differ and you can tune the center differential um, it does have the rear diffuser, the aluminum oil filled adjustable shocks it comes with the turbo engine, part, engine parts included um, it's water resistant but you do need a 2 to 4 S battery I mean we'd recommend a 4 S battery because it runs great on that it comes with a Dean's connector um, but 4 batteries for the radio system and you will need a battery charger you know we sell like uh, combos for this car for the batteries you know for uh, you, you can get into this car for you know just a just a touch over 500 with the batteries and chargers 395 yep we sell it for 395 and it has belted tires this has belted tires right here yeah belted they are belted tires. i thought they were belted yeah um so this is this is a really nice truck the body like we said we looked at the outside of it if we look at the inside of it it's you know this truck's had a couple of tumbles you can see we've run this truck a little bit we've got a little bit of wear on the wheel wells there where it's been where it's been ducking down um, but the body is really nice and even if you break one of these for this style of body they're usually like a hundred bucks this one is not a hundred bucks I think the body is like seventy dollars something like that if you need to replace it so what we're gonna do is we'll put the um, I'm going to put the body back on it and we're going to take it for a drive. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. We put a battery in the truck. just want to talk about the radio. It's a fairly standard radio. Ergonomically, it fits your hand good. It's got a nice, nice steering wheel on it that feels good. It's got a basic uh, end point, uh, trim adjustments on here and a bind button. But that, uh, nothing fancy, but nothing, you know, nothing crazy. It's got a dual rate adjustment here channel one adjustment which is going to be your steering trim and then your throttle trim if you need to mess with that um, the, the ESC is programmable you can change various settings in it for brake and punch uh, brake strength and punch and how fast it goes in reverse um, so let's take it let's take it for a drive This truck does go 55 miles an hour out of the box. A few little bits of gravel in the parking lot here. The brake strength is good. It's been raining here today, it's just a little bit of dampness on this parking lot but the truck the truck handles real good it's a little bit loose in the back end but you can adjust the suspension on it to tap start usually a little bit loose is fast you don't want a truck to be pushing you can tune the differentials in of course we'll take it for a long run down the parking lot trying to avoid the puddles here we got to be careful when we come up this little ramp here that we don't go full speed because we'll, uh, we'll damage the, the, the truck will bottom out as it's coming up that little ramp there. So I'll come back and I'm going to let off before we get... So we're faster than the cars on the street here that are doing 35-40 miles an hour. I say on 4S this truck will be... 
55 miles an hour. You can probably adjust the pinion gear in it. But we just want to make sure that motor doesn't get too hot. Bit of a slide going on there as I punched it in the corner. The truck looks great, it looked great, you could fit a light kit in here. It doesn't come with light buckets on the body, so you'd have to drill the little holes. But if you've got them big spotlights that run on 9 volt, the ones that are about the size of a uh, of like a uh, a nickel. Oh they look cool. This truck is not really made to go in the grass. I mean, it'll go in the grass, but it's not its uh, favourite. There you go. Just uh, do a bit of a bang on that front spoiler. But that front spoiler is, the wheels are all wet now. The tyres are wet. Bring it off. Still a little bit wet, you can see. Oh, it's coming back to me a little bit. Not really made to go in the grass. They're still wet. The parking lot is a bit wet here. But yeah, I mean, this is a... Uh, I mean, the truck looks cool. It's got a big footprint. Um, you know, when it's out here in front of me, it, it, it is it is pretty large vehicle. Definitely a uh, full-on ape scale vehicle. It does have this really tough front bumper on it, which it really needs for even running on a relatively smooth surface like this but this is its environment on a uh, on a flat cement or asphalt surface like like what we've got here and the thing looks cool super aggressive um, you know you can see we haven't really caused any scratches or anything on the bottom of the chassis even though I've been three or four hard runs on this truck now no significant uh, no significant problems no significant damage um, the wheels are not coming loose, the tyres are still holding on good. This is just how it came, uh, comes out of the box. Um, you know, for the price point, around $400. I think it's, I think it might be $400 the, uh, the price for this truck, not $420 like I said before. Um, so this truck is going to, you know, I think this is going to be a, you know, a good, a good truck that's going to get a good following through the industry because not everybody can call, can spend seven hundred dollars plus the cost of 6s batteries for one of the higher end probably need two batteries you're going to be over a thousand dollars for a street truck if you go with some of the other brands this one you're just a little bit over half that cost um, to get into this truck and i think it runs really good i think it's going to be a good seller we've got all the parts for it coming in um later this week for, for this truck and um i think i think you should i think you should you know, think about it. If you're looking for something, but you don't want to drop a grand on a uh, on a on a bigger, slightly bigger scale street truck, this might be one you want to consider. I think it's really well made. HBI generally make you know pretty tough, dependable vehicles. They've been in the hobby many years, even though they left the U.S. for a few years, but now they're back, and this is one of their one of their main cars. We're going to get other cars in from them and some other manufacturers. So if you're in Houston, stop by our store up here on the edge of Cyprus, on the, near the corner of uh, Jones and Grant. And or if, you're, uh, if you want to get one of these, send us a message. We can ship them out to you wherever you may be, even, even international. We ship international all the time. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Instagram, Third Coast RC. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.